Hi guys, welcome to another week of daily videos. I missed Monday, I was a little bit too busy, but don't worry, there will be one extra video during the weekend because we have uh, enough sponsors and I'm really grateful for that, especially for Christian from Spain who sponsored already five videos and more will come in the next weeks. So thank you, Christian. And in this video, the topic is the small end convention, which actually is bidding or showing the majors after 1-0 Trump opening. So let's have a look what board we have here. Uh, in this week, I will be sh doing the videos from the Czech uh, Federation tournament, which happened last weekend. And Parn opens 1 0 no Trump, and we have 5 4 majors and 13 high card points, which is actually just enough for game forcing. For a slam invite, we would need a little bit stronger hand with, I would say, Queen of Spades instead of the Jack or Ace of Hearts instead of the Queen, because then the hand uh, will actually fit the nice criteria uh, for a slam invitation with uh, 6 losers because partner for one of trump might have four to five useful honors and that's the system what i'm using and that will help you always to find out how high you can go and if you just invite to a game bid the game forcing or be in the slam and that's actually what you need to uh, find out when you have five four in majors because you have several options how to show these types of hands but the small end convention actually uses the two club asking as a statement. And if Parton has a four card major, then we found the fit and it's not a problem. But what happens if we use the statement and partner responds to diamonds as that he doesn't have a four card major? Still, you want to try to find a five free fit in hearts in this example. But uh, because partner is the strong one, you might still prefer uh, to play the hand from partner's hand. So actually, you want to try to transfer the hand uh, and give partner an idea to choose in between three no trumps and four hearts. And for that purposes, it's a jump to a three in a major. In the natural style, you just jump with the five card, but the small end conventions actually switches the, the bits. So actually you jump <coughs> in the four card. So actually three spades in this example shows exactly five hearts and exactly four cards in spades. If you use this convention, this is obviously for a game forcing hand and maybe later on if partner denies the game by three no trumps you can still keep going and invite partner with a four no trumps with five four two two or you can bid a minor if you have five four three one i actually more advise you to bid a free card because then you give partner a chance to even play in that minor if Potentially, he might have a good full card or five cards. If you have just invitation to a game, you just bid on the second level. But here it doesn't work that well, because if partner is having a minimum hand, you want to play in your five card. So actually two hearts, two spades here might be just invitation to a game. Unless you play a garbage statement, which can be used with both majors and a weak hand, where you just bid two hearts, pass or correct. So in that case, you might need to have only spades and hearts and use two spades as invited with five spades and four hearts. If you actually have a 6-4 majors, you can still bid with a stamen. And if partner bids two clubs, you can jump either to four hearts, four spades if you want to declare from your hand. Or you can jump to four clubs, four diamonds if you want to transfer your six cards. So four clubs will show six hearts and four diamonds will show six spades. That actually leaves the transfers to diamonds, immediate transfers to diamonds and to hearts without actually both major suits. And you can use them as a conventional race with a major fit. So how that will work, I might show you 
and the end of the video. So let's finish the bidding in this sequence. So we agree that the small end convention is the jump in the full card in order to be able to play either three no trumps or four hearts from partner's hand. Because most often that's the stronger hand which should protect its honors. Partner chose three no trumps, we are not strong enough. But again, if I want to invite to a slam, I might just bid four clubs in this sequence and try for a slam. See that based on this hand, um, so in this case, three no trumps uh, might be better from our side because actually of the club lead. Uh, now we don't have the ace and queen protected. Partner is having six diamonds. I actually don't like partner to do that if I'm playing with a computer. Um, I understand the king jack, see the queen. It, it will be much better to play from my hand uh, with those holdings. So now we have to make three no trumps where we have might have a couple of spade tricks. Uh, we will have four heart tricks once we establish them. And we have two diamond tricks. The risk in here is with clubs. So if I win with the ace... Uh, it might be a little bit issue that if I lose the ace of hearts to east, he can play the clubs through. So because the three of clubs might be from the king, but if it is, then I can finesse it later on. And I can afford to lose a trick. So actually you don't want to play the finesse immediately. You want to duck the club, because once west gets to the trick, he cannot play the club back. Or if he does, you certainly have two stoppers and enough time to establish... Uh, the hearts. So West wins with the ten of clubs and switches to a diamond. So we want to win. We don't want to try to finesse actually here. And see that we are lacking of entries. But at some point we should get uh, some spade tricks. So we can catch the king of hearts if they win then uh, we will have the jack of hearts entry so that's perfect and after the eight we actually even might to try to finesse the jack uh, just in case west let the freeze and now the eight so either he might have the queen or diamonds will split free free so in that case we will have actually all the tricks so I want to play the jack and try that. The hearts should be winners, so I can discard the spade. I have entries with the jack. For the clubs, I don't want to try the finesse anymore, because I hope that the ten of diamonds will drop. And I will have the rest. So I want to win now with the ace. Cross with the hearts. And now I actually need the Ten of Diamonds to drop. And it does, so absolutely no problem. For another three diamonds, we can discard two spades and a heart. And the rest are winners. So we can claim ten tricks. See that uh, if partner will have three hearts and two spades, it will be better to play heart. And because partner doesn't have a standard no trump opening, it actually would have been better to play from our side. So see that not always the small end convention is useful for you, but uh, most often it's actually right if your partner has a standard no trump opening. So now the what is the story behind the transfer? So once you bid both majors via two clubs, and if you have a 5-5, I strongly advise you to use 1-0 trump free diamonds as 5-5. Then you can actually use the other major artificial race, which shortcut is Omar. So how does that work? You bid, for example, two diamonds as a transfer, partner accepts with two hearts. And now imagine that you have a slam try or a strong hand without a side suit or without a splinter. So it's actually very difficult now to show the hand, but once you have the other major, which is not natural, you can use it as artificial forcing to game and try for a slam. So asking for more, asking for a fit, asking for a side suit, 
which can all help to determine if you want to try for a slam or not. So after two diamonds, two hearts, it would be two spades. After two hearts, two spades, it would be three hearts, where partners still have a chance to bid three spades to show extra, three no trumps to deny a fit, or qubit directly if he has a concentration of honors in one suit. And that's actually how you can find out uh, the best possible contract and win some imps. See that uh, for making 10 tricks, it's plus four imps. It's also the most played contract. But if we have a closer look, it's not kind of obvious because one third of the players made 10 tricks, one third made only nine tricks, and one third actually went down from free no trumps. So most of the people did free no, but uh, not everybody ducked the first club and uh, actually at the end went down and lost a lot of imps. So thank you guys for watching. Uh, looking forward to tomorrow's video and also for the Thursday live stream. So again, don't forget to play the exclusive tournaments both in match points and imps. Like the video, subscribe if you didn't do so and stay safe.